this isolation ward is a completely separate body from the main hospital. As you can see, the entrance is separate, okay, entrance and exit, even for our staff back here, our entrance is here. And um, so it has absolutely no direct contact with the hospital at all, as is our flu clinic, where we would evaluate patients and the you know, depending on the gravity of their disease and we decide how to treat. We follow international guidelines when it comes to treatment and um, guidelines that have been issued by the Ministry of Health as well when it comes to treatment. Um, but again, it, it depends because we have patients that come to, and, and this is something important also to stress to the general public, if you believe or if you have a positive test, you know, try to get evaluated because um, what has been happening in cases that complicate is that people come to us too late, okay? And so those are the ones that sometimes we are unable to, to save despite our best efforts. This is an entire team that makes up this isolation ward with each person playing an inter a very important role. Um, we have Dr. Hidalgo and Dr. Ariaga that oversees, you know, treatment and everything of the patients. And then, of course, myself and Dr. Marhon are in there directly examining patients daily, treating, um, making adjustments where necessary and things like that. We also have our respiratory therapist, um, Ms. Rocio Hiron. She's a very vital, she's a very important part of the team and um, her role, she comes every day and work with our patients on whatever exercises that needs to be, um, that these patients need to do to help their recovery.